spell it again? M O M O I R. No, M E M. <laughs> I missed you! I missed you! Hi! 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 Not quite Zilker. Close enough. Paw. Grant, give me your paw. Good boy! Good boy! Grant, since you are all smiles now, I can only imagine what's gonna happen when mommy comes home tonight. So, I made it back to Austin. Adam's carrying my suitcase right now. I uh, was delayed an hour and a half, which sucked. But I get to go see Grant. And Adam was not joking when he said he parked as far away as possible. But it's 11 p.m. here, which means it's midnight in the time zone I was in, and I'm really tired. We're still walking. <gasps> oh my gosh! So it's been like 10 days, but I'm finally going back to Virginia. And I'm also getting a new screen protector for my phone because mine has a giant air bubble in it and I don't know why. But also, do you see these? Yeah, so um, I've been eyeing the Allbirds wool sneakers for like years, but they're only in New Zealand. And I was like, oh, I don't want to order them online. Like that's kind of risky. But Nordstrom had a pop-in store. So I got to try them on and I got so them. So I suggested we go try them on. Let's, anyway, it but it's happen. storming <laughs> and wool sneakers, but they're machine washable, so it should be fine. My feet just might get a little wet, but I was gonna wear flip-flops, so like it's the same either way, you know? So it was raining pretty much every single day of the trip to Baltimore. And I was so excited to come home and maybe, you know, bring Grant to Zilker or something. But, um, yeah, it's storming today. Turn right on Frontage Road. Ah! Guess what, guys? It's Adam's birthday weekend, holla! Yeah, don't I feel old? He's finally catching up to me. Yeah, so we went to ramen last night. And we're going again now, because <laughs> um, my friend Ariel is moving away, sadly. But Adam is an expert packer. Like, really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he said that he would help her pack and she would buy him ramen, so we're going tonight again. I know, technically I'm gonna get a rice bowl. Hopefully that's okay. But tomorrow, I'm taking Adam to Perry's. <sighs> yes. 
I explicitly told her not to take me anywhere. And then I told him we were going and he started crying. I did not start crying. I started hysterically laughing. There's a difference. Today, until pretty much forever, it's gonna be high 90s, low 100s. So we went to the pool for like less than an hour because I was so warm. What? Memoir. My what? How do you say it? Say it. Memoir. How do you say it? Memoir? Okay, so I'm saying memoir. You're saying memoir. How do you spell it? M O M O I R. What? M O M O I R. Spell it again. M O M O I R. No, M E M. <laughs> what are you doing? This is not going in the vlog. Yes, it is. No, it. I end the vlog, so. Yeah, but it's your birthday weekend, which means we're roasting. You mean, oh, is that a sunburn joke? Yeah. You see that one hair? That's his unibrow. I don't like this anymore. I'm trying to get ready, and I think I'm going to make us late because I'm having a serious, serious fashion dilemma. I don't know which one to wear. On the one hand, this one, my Lord Marvel, is just like objectively dressier, and it's really nice, and it's beautiful. But, this one is also dressy enough too. This is my Seiko SNX 111. This one is dressy enough too, and it's the first watch I ever got, and I got it for my birthday like many years ago. Ugh. I just don't know. Wish is not gonna come true. No? Adam's birthday's today. So Adam, tell tell them what the plan is because it's your day. Um, we're gonna go get coffee at a coffee shop that I've been wanting to try for a while. For any students watching this, Mr. You gave Baker. So much detail. For any students watching this, Mr. Baker suggested it to me. And then we're gonna go to the outlets. Because there's a certain outlet store I really want to go to. He wants me to buy him a bunch of stuff. I want you to buy me one thing. I just want to look at a bunch of stuff. But it's like 45 minutes away, so it's commitment. So I forgot to vlog while we were at this coffee place, but we sat at that table and it was nice. And now we're gonna head to the outlets. Which means I just sit in a car with Adam for about an hour. 45 minutes. Okay, but you drive so slowly. That is not true. You guys see this? The horse is in there. Oh, it must be so hot. Okay, we made it to the outlets and it was a struggle and we eventually just paid five dollars to park because there were no spots anywhere else. It's yeah, we're not entirely out, sure what we paid for. But now we're gonna find food. All right, success number one, Vineyard Vines. New shorts, matching shorts. Ugh. Well, actually not exactly matching, it's okay. Well, we're gonna keep going in the heat. Please take longer.
Oh my god. Not nearly as excited as she should be. You're the one in the kitchen all the time. That's true. kind of in shock. I'm trying on how many watches to decide? Like four. And then he didn't even think this store had them because he was skeptical. Well, because they were, they only had a couple. Okay, now it's time for a snack because I'm going to faint. Yes, me too. Sure. Oh, of course. Mm. I mean, can we just like appreciate that for a second? That's beautiful. And no birthday is complete without birthday cake. And we got probably the best cake that there is. Cookie cake. And we got a piece that just says cookie on it. In case you couldn't tell what it was. So to end the vlog, some of you guys might remember a while ago, I did a, a tour of my then current watch collection. And since then I've added a couple of really cool new pieces and I wanted to talk about those for a second too. So since that last video, um, I got kind of my first major vintage piece. Um, this is Seiko Lord Marvel High Beat. I don't think this is gonna come through, but it has, um, Seiko's first high beat movement and the second commercially available high beat movement, I believe. Um, this is a 1974, and they stopped making these in 1975, so I got one of the last batches of it. And I also got one of the gold plated ones, which is really cool because most of them were stainless steel. Um, so that's really cool. It's hand wound, which is a lot of fun. 1974, Lord Marvel. And this one which you just saw earlier in the vlog. Um, this is almost kind of like a mini grail for me. This is the Presage, Seiko Presage SRPB 77. It was a very easy choice for me. Uh, you know, I tried on four or five watches in the store, but this was the first one I tried on and I knew that this was the one I was gonna get. Um, this is beautiful. This is the newer line of the Presage series with the 4R. 35 movement, um, blue hands, radiant dial. Um, it's really attractive. Um, and I'm really conflicted because I want to wear it all the time, but I'm also afraid that it's gonna get messed up. And I also love that it has this really big crown too, because it can be hand wound um, or just wound by movement. So that's the update to my collection.